Good morning everyone, Michelle here. Um, today in this video, I am going to try to show you how I make these envelopes. Um, I I had one of my subscribers, Karen, ask if I would show how to do how I did it. Um, and I didn't think I was going to make any more because, well, the mistake I made when I made this one was that I did a collage sheet to use for the envelope. And it took a long time, and that's why I thought I would never, I wouldn't be making a whole bunch of these. Anyhow, um, so I've decided that I'm going to try to make them just with one sheet of paper. So what I did um, for this one here is um, I made the envelope, and then I just made like a little journaling card to go inside. Um, I think a, maybe an Edith Holden page would look better in there. But anyhow, so this morning, um, I'm going to try to show you how I made it with the Edith Holden page. So um, you can use, of course, any paper you want. Um, I found it a lot easier just using one sheet of paper. Uh, okay, so the first thing I did is I didn't square it up or anything. I didn't, you know, trim it down to, to be a good size. I just took this piece of paper out of the book. And so the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tear this in half. And yes, it's a little bit difficult <laughs> when you're dealing with Edith Holden pages, but the more you use them, the easier it gets. <laughs> so, um, and then I'm, so the tear that I wanna do, I wanna bring it at an angle because um, when I go to make the envelope, um, I don't want it straight up and down. I want the the tear to be kind of slanted. So so that's all I'm gonna do is just tear it. Just tear it like that. Um, now, I'm not a big fan of this white edge. And yes, I probably should have torn it the other way, but I think it's simple enough just to tear this white edge off. And I am going to go all the way down because um, I don't know where my envelope's going to stop and start just yet. So that's the first thing you do. The next thing you do is you take some type of um, transparency film. Now I've got this one here that I picked up at a secondhand store and it's just a whole bunch of um, projector transparencies. So I'm just going to grab a new sheet. Now this might be kind of difficult to see um, because it's, well, transparent film. <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna trim this, this film, this sheet at all yet, just yet. Because what I wanna do is I wanna get my page onto the plastic and I don't know how I'm gonna cut it and trim it up yet. So then all I do is um, I'm using this Tombow glue, but I think that Eileen's will work. I haven't tried Fabri-Tac, but I'm gonna guess it would work as well. I'm gonna shut this. There's a there's a a glare coming off my light. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna run a bead of glue just along the edge of the uh, um, sheet here. Oh, you know what? I was thinking too. You know what? I'm gonna see if I can still do it. I was thinking in this one I should have inked the where I where I um, tore it so I think I'm gonna do that with this one and plus I think the Edith Holden pages look look really nice inked sorry I'm okay uh, we'll just do that for now um, okay let's get this on on the on the film while it, the glue is still wet so I'm just gonna come right to the edge of the film so that I don't have a super crazy amount to trim so and this is gonna take a bit to dry and it never fully dries and this is why I think a sewing machine is a good uh, tool to have for this particular craft because to get like I don't trust these glues to hold the plastic on for you know for any length of time so I would suggest sewing um, if you don't have a machine you could try sewing it by hand <laughs> um, I think that could look kind of cool. 
But anyway, for this one, I'm going to use my machine. So then um, now I'm going to do the second side. I'll just, did I ink it? No, I didn't. Look at that. Let's just do this quickly. So I get this done. Because I, I think this might make a nice little difference. Okay. I don't think I'm going to do the back side because that'll be the inside of the envelope. And I'm not sure it's necessary. So let's just, um, and excuse all of my fingers this morning. I was, I was coffee dying yesterday and I always start out with good intentions, you know, wearing gloves and trying my best not to get all stained, but it's hard working with paper when you're wearing gloves. So of course I end up taking them off and then my fingers get all coffee dyed as well. So here's where you decide. How wide do you want it? Do you want it wide? Kind of like I did this one here. It was a little too wide for my liking. So this second one I made, um, I only went about an inch, inch and a quarter. So this one I think I want kind of the same thing because I don't want a huge, um, huge envelope. Um, you know, once I'm finished all this part and folding and everything. I don't want it to end up, you know, six or seven or eight inches. Well, I guess this one is, oh, this one's six and a half. So actually that's a good, that's a good width. I don't mind six and a half. And um, so anyway, and I've, by the time we uh, trim all this up and, and stitch it and everything, uh, hopefully we'll end up with about the same size of an envelope. Anyhow, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this glue dry because it, it's it's almost impossible to trim the transparency film while the glue is still wet. It, um, it just pulls away from the paper. So I'm going to let it dry and then once it's dry I am going to stitch down these two sides as I did here and then I will come back with that, okay? See you in a minute. Okay, so now that it's um, dry, I had a chance to stitch down the sides. At this point now, what I'm going to do is trim off the excess plastic. So, um, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, just follow, kind of follow the line and trim off that, that plastic. You can absolutely... Um, Put the exact size you think you're going to need because this might seem like a waste, but it's not. This will get used. Um, this small piece at the bottom probably won't get used, uh, but I'll keep it anyway because I've, you know, I'm kind of addicted to <laughs> um, transparent stuff right now. So I've been using, using this stuff a lot. So anyhow. It won't get wasted. That won't get wasted. Uh, so then what do I have? Oh, I still have a big piece over here. So I'm going to trim that. This one might end up in the trash because it's kind of an awkward shape and it's very small. So, uh, so like I said, not a lot of waste. Anyway, now what we're left with is this. Uh, so if I want to do an envelope that's about this width, um... I think what I'm going to do is just trim off the sides of this and I also think I'm going to round the corners and I'm going to try to remember to distress the edges. So, um, so let's see if we, what's the deal so it's not upside down like that and then this will be our envelope and it'll say well, actually, hang on a sec. Um, how do I do that? With that not being upside down. Oh, dear. <laughs> I guess that's part of the problem when you're using something with words like something directional like this. Something is going to end up upside down. Okay, so let's just put it so that it'll end up like this. Okay, I'm going to continue to do my trimming. Uh, I don't want to trim too much of it. 
then I think maybe at the bottom here. So width-wise, it's kind of large. Um, I'm actually going to save that because I have another idea in mind for these little strips. But that's for another day. So I think what I'm going to do now is... Um, I think I'm going to round the corners. Do I, do I want to do that? Yes. Okay, I do. So I'm just going to round these corners. This this um, corner rounder is kind of so it makes like nice big rounded corners, which I think looks really nice for bigger pieces. I got this a few years ago, and I'm sure I got it on Amazon. Um, I don't know what the brand is, though. I don't know that it's memory. We are memory keepers because the blue is a bit different. But anyhow, if you go on Amazon, um, just you know, search large corner punch, and um, hopefully that will come up for you. So I think what I'm going to do is, so this is going to be the flap. It's going to be upside down. Yes. So just fold it like this. Fold it like that. Now you can take a um, bone folder to it, but I find with the bone folder, it it sort of um, it makes the the fold on the on the plastic too harsh, like too folded. If that makes sense, um, but go for it if if you want to do that. I just remember that I want to do this first before I forget. Um, because I think I think the distressing on the Edith Holden pages looks just beautiful. Like it's just they're made for each other. <laughs> and um, oh, I'm I'm just so so into this transparent stuff right now. I think it's beautiful. Okay. So, and you can definitely use a scoreboard if you want. Um, I'm not, but um, that doesn't mean you can't. So then we're just going to fold that over. And like I said, yep, yeah, it's upside down. And it is... Oh, I thought I, I, thought I ripped it. <laughs> I didn't. Okay, so that's not very straight, but... Anyway, so this envelope ended up being seven and a, almost seven and a half inches. I'm going to try to straighten this out a bit. So there. Yeah, so this one's a little bit wider. Um, can I, can I trim it some more? Well, I don't want to. I don't want to cut off any of the December or any of the, the words, so I think I'm just going to leave it. And we're going to have a seven and a half inch envelope. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my machine, uh, my sewing machine, and I'm going to sew all the way around. Um, I'll leave it closed. You could just glue this, um, but I, I like the stitched edge. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to stitch that. And then I'm going to stitch down to this side as well. Um, do I want to stitch there? Oh, we'll see how I feel when I'm at my machine. But I may stitch along there as well. Anyhow, I'm going to go do that. I'll be right back. Okay, so now um, I've sewn around the envelope completely. And in my attempt to try to hide the back side of the stitches, I did a double row. Uh, not sure it made a whole bunch of difference. But anyhow... <laughs> Um, it's also, or yeah, also. So now what I'm going to do is, um, I've got another piece of Edith Holden here and I think what I'm going to do is just cut, um, I want to make one of these to help hold the flap down. So, um, I'm going to actually 
punch out two of these because I don't think one is going to be sturdy enough. So I'll just punch out two and then, um, oh, I guess I could have used anything. And I'm just going to glue them together. So the top, the top one, I'll, I'll just distress quickly the top one. Um, I like this one better. More words. Or, you know, more coverage of words. So then I'll just take my glue stick. Just put a little dab on there. Actually. Hmm. The clear side. Uh, and then I'm just going to glue the two to get... Sorry, I was thinking and... <laughs> I do talk to myself a lot, and sometimes um, I don't even finish my thoughts. <laughs> so, um, okay, so I think I decided this was going to be the the front side. Um, and that I'm just gonna I'm just gonna glue half of it down right there, and um, that will help to hold the the envelope flap closed. Now um, these envelopes you definitely could um, decorate it more. Uh, right now I'm just showing uh, my the, the process for making the actual envelope. Uh, once I decide what journal I'm going to use it in, maybe at that point I will decorate it more, but for now I'm just gonna I'm just doing the envelope. So this is going to come down like that, and I want to place this kind of in the middle. I don't want to place it on the plastic because um, I don't think it'll stay. I'm not sewing this on, although if I'd thought about it sooner, I could have sewn it on. I'm not going to. So we have that there, and then this will go in there like that although we have to wait for this to dry a little bit it's um it's still pretty wet so by putting this down in there it's just going to pull it up anyhow um that's how i make the envelope so um i hope that helps i hope i hope that you make them <laughs> um because they're fun um yeah I didn't make a card for this one, but like I said, I'm, I'm going to wait to see what journal I will use it in. And then at that point, I'll, I'll make a card. Like for, with this one here, all I did was, um, uh, I just have some of these, you know, images and um, I just glued on or sewed on some coffee dye paper. And that was, and that's a journaling card in the envelope. So. I'm going to show you. I would take my little my little journal here and to put it in a journal um let's see. Actually, it kind of goes nice with the with this like this these two sort of match, don't they? Quite nicely. We do that. Maybe not with the blue card, but what about like that? So you could do something like that and then just use a, a paper clip. Or you could leave it like that and paper clip it in. I just happen to have a paper clip. You could just paper clip it into your book. Oh, I quite like this. Anyhow, <laughs> thanks everybody for watching. Um, um, if you have any questions at all, uh, just just let me know. I I'll um, I'll try to answer them. Um, but anyhow, this is my my envelopes with the uh, transparent um, paper. Okay, have a great day. Thanks, guys. Bye.